29th USCT. Uh, today we're presenting the 14th U.S. Covered Troops. They're now online and engaging this Confederate company. That's the enemy. Six that you're not balanced to strong and clash. When you have a battle line, go off with some all USCT and the Union Army press forward to destroy Hood's Army of Tennessee at Nashville, December 16th, 1864. Well, the DuSable Museum was founded by Dr. Margaret Burroughs, an educator, an artist, and a writer. She recognized that our children, as well as our adults, needed a place that would remind them of who they really were to correct the misinformation they had gotten for years, to talk about our contributions to not just America, but to the world as the first people, as the civilizers of the world. So the DuSable exists to remind us who we are and everyone else, what our contributions have been to this society. that if you don't know your past, you are condemned to repeat it. For us to continue to evolve and make progress, we have to stand on the shoulders of those who went before us. That means knowing what they did. It means honoring the sacrifices they made and really honoring ourselves in a way that moves us toward progress. In many ways, we don't seem as strong as our people were right after slavery. We seem to be consumers more than producers. These kinds of events like today that remind our young people that we didn't just accept slavery, that we fought, that we resisted, that we've always fought and resisted, ought to serve as fuel to the fire to help us see the kinds of things we need to do in our communities today.